Hello everyone. My name is Roland Harkland and I'm the CEO and Executive Safety and Risk Services London. I'd like to talk to you today about a HSE Masterclass, a Health Safety Environment Masterclass that I'm running on my quest on the frontier in Dubai in July this year. The course will cover all aspects of HSE management, covering occupational safety, environmental risk management, process safety major action and risk management, and looking in particular at the roles and responsibilities of the executive leadership team and the board of directors. Myself, I have 40 years experience in the industry. I've worked for both the major oil companies such as Shell and BP, and I've just left the position as vice president of HSCQ for a major Malaysian oil and gas producer. I was formerly, before that, the director of safety and operations for BP in the UK North Sea operations. So, why the course? Well, the course in three days will teach you all you need to know about best practice in HC management. Day one. On day one, you will see it covers the introductory aspects of HC risk management, covering occupational HC management, environmental management, the management of occupational health and injuries, where we're looking at how the injuries are classified. A key issue for companies, particularly when benchmarking against other their competitors, and how we maintain our license to operate through regulatory risk management. Each session will have either a case study or a breakout session where we can look in more detail at aspects that you've learned on day one. In day two, we're looking more at major action hazards and their prevention. From my experience, being part of the Pipe Brown for investigation many years ago, it is an issue close to my heart. Some of the key areas that we'll be looking at are major accident investigation and how to manage human error and human management, human factors in offshore and onshore operations. This is especially important as human error contributes roughly 80% of all major accidents. The next slide you can see in front of you is the risk controls, the barriers or the barrier model, um, known as the switch tooth model. This is the go-to model really for the regulators when they're looking at the number of barriers and their integrity and reliability that's provided by the design team and the operator to ensure that risks are as low as reasonably practicable or allowed. We finish on day three by looking at uh, how we can improve ourselves, developing high performance in HEC, some key KPIs that companies need to be looking at, uh, particularly those that cover process safety, competency development, an issue that's uh, poorly managed in many companies, either the content of the competency management systems or the time that's devoted to them is usually found to be inadequate. I will then finish day, day three on looking at the future of HC management, some of the key emerging risks and issues, in particular things like remote operations, uh, as that generates minimum manning to both onshore and offshore facilities and makes the facility inherently safer. So why do you want to come on the course? Well, as you can see, I've identified at least 11 key areas of benefit for those attending the course. I don't wish to go through each one of them in turn, but what I would say is that I, if I had to pick out a couple that appeal to me and should appeal to you to make you a better manager for HSE, I would say how Leadership teams and their boards of directors deal with major actions. The best practices is a key issue, as it's been shown to be weakness in many accident investigations. And the risk control barriers, human factors, and competence for high risk operations, another key area and essential in businesses that are to produce high reliability organisations. I hope you will attend this course and find it really useful in your current and future career. And I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you in Dubai in July. Thank you.